Alistair, you let me know about uh, China's announcement on July 3rd. What happened? I think it caught a lot of people by surprise. There was no uh, forewarning, uh, which sometimes comes out of China. They signal things. Not in this case. And of course, I think we'd always talked that we expected China to weaponize rare earths first, not a critical mineral like gallium. Yeah, well, as on the panel at the CMI summit, when you asked what was my pick for the most critical mineral, I picked gallium because China dominates that space even more than rare earths. It has 97, 98% of the world's output. I did the percentage calculator. You were mentioning how many tons that China exports to the United States, for instance, of gallium. So it looks like they control approximately 98% of of the world's gallium. Is that correct? Yeah, the global production is 430 tons based on the last USGS report. And of that, 420 came out of China or was made inside China. I know a lot of large mainstream media has been reaching out to you for your expertise on this topic, but I think they're concluding incorrectly. I had a gentleman from Reuters tell me today that uh, his conclusion was that this was an inconsequential amount and really wouldn't have any impact. Do you want to agree with him or disagree? Uh, I would tend to disagree. Uh, You know, gallium comes from the production of zinc and bauxite. Uh, particularly. And there is those two um, products being made outside of China, but no one has fitted in gallium recovery. So to do that is going to be a lengthy and capital intensive process. Uh, And the Chinese have only given one month's notice. So it'd be very hard to react in that time frame. Timing. Your point was well made. There's only four weeks. So, I mean, this is an issue. <laughs> what are they, what are we going to do for four weeks? I mean, how are we going to turn this around, Alistair? I think we have to see what some of the response is. Like, obviously, there's going to be a major impact on Taiwan, uh, TSMC being the largest producer of high end chips, um, the US, South Korea, obviously, as well. Um, You know, there may be inventories outside of China, obviously, but I would be surprised if they exceed six months inventory. All right. So they just put this news, came out of nowhere. They did it, of course, on July 4th weekend. Um, You personally had a theory on why they actually put this announcement out. Would you like to share this with our audience? Yeah, I think it's in uh, response to a couple of moves from the U.S. Uh, October of last year, they uh, prevented the sale of high-end chip making machines and high-end chips into China. Uh, Also around the same time, the National Defense Act came out, which prevented uh, government agencies basically buying products that contain chips from the leading Chinese manufacturers. Well, thanks to you, and you know, I'm very lucky. I can speed dial experts like yourself. You're explaining to me, you know, what gallium is used for, and of course, germanium, and they're both used in the semiconductor uh, space. And you were explaining that there really isn't any alternate that we can use for for gallium in particular. A little bit for germanium, but you said it doesn't work as well. Why don't yeah. you explain a little bit more about that? You can replace gallium arsenide with silicone, but you end up with a drop in performance, maybe uh, as much as 30%. So your mobile phone or you know, your microwave towers and so forth, capacity is reduced and uh, productivity. So silicone is a cheaper product, but there is a reason that gallium arsenide was um, adopted and that was because of performance. So further to uh, the time of July 4th, you were telling me there might be uh, an additional reason uh, yeah. the Chinese yeah. put this news out when they did. Nothing happens by accident. And the fact that Janice Yellen was going into Beijing this week uh, would make it front of mind uh, during discussions. So 
they obviously timed it uh, to coincide. You sent me a Google translation of this particular memo from the Chinese Minister of Ministry of Commerce, and it specifically said that there would be an interesting punishment uh, if anyone exported gallium or germanium to the United States. Would you like to comment on that? Yeah, not just the United States, but out of China, period. And that is, they have defined such an act without permission would be illegal, and there would be obviously repercussions, uh, which inside China can be extreme. Well, thank you so much for the update. We really appreciate it. For more information from Alistair Neal on critical minerals, you can reach him at the following email address. Thank you, Alistair. Thanks, Tracy.